Hello and welcome to Talk Wargaming. In this video I'll be combining a tutorial with a product review as I show you how to assemble Cromlech miniatures. So as well as using the Cromlech miniatures we'll also be using the tools from their hobby range as well. Uh, notably we'll be using the, the normal superglue, the thick superglue, the superglue activator spray as well and also the uh, cutting mat as well as you can see here. Now this is great because it gives us an excellent surface image to work on and also protects us like any tables that we're working on underneath. This is the A4 size however there are almost also bigger sizes such as A3 available. So uh, now we've got the tools let's uh, bring in some miniatures. So for the purposes of this uh, video I'll be using the, the Goblin Space Pirates from the Cromlech range and I've just got uh, also some uh, resin bases, rocky outcrop bases as well, in which we to, uh, glue them on a few extra parts as well there to glue. So now that we've uh, looked at all the tools that we need, let's zoom in and see how it's done. So here we have the components for the uh, Goblin Pirate and I've clipped the weapons off the sprue and also use a knife to clean up the miniature, any kind of like flashing or little uh, uh, tabs that have been left on the actual miniature. I've also uh, washed it with some soap to remove any release agent just so in case it interferes with the super glue. So now these uh, miniatures are ready for gluing. So as I mentioned before, there are two types of glue. We have the, the normal on the left here and the thick on the right. And this kind of applies to the viscosity as well of the actual uh, glue themselves. And then depending on which situation, one will be better than the other. So uh, for example, if we have, just move these out of the way, uh, we're going to be gluing this uh, right hand to the uh, the sword, uh, to the main body. And what we're going to be doing is getting the, the super glue normal, because it's slightly thinner than the other one. And we're just going to apply a small dot just onto the hand joint there. We don't necessarily need it on both sections. If we just bring in the the knife, there, the blade, and we can just line the two pieces up, making sure we keep our fingers away as the super glue will actually bond our fingers quite easily. And if we just press in like so for a few seconds. Now one of the things I should also mention whilst I'm waiting for this to set is that plastic glue cannot be used on resin miniatures. Now this is because plastic glue works by melting the polystyrene, hence the name polystyrene cement, and it essentially welds the two pieces together. Now that doesn't have the same effect on resin, so you will need to use super glue. You can't use any uh, normal. There we go. You can see that also it's all dried already and it's just a little bit of pressure placed on the join has allowed the, the glue to set and we've got a uh, nice sword wielding goblin there. So uh, the second arm, I'll also be using the, the normal glue for this. However, I will also be using the, the super glue uh, spray activator. Now what this is, is essentially causes the super glue to bond uh, and to dry immediately and it's a great way to kind of get pieces to stick uh, together much more quickly than normal. So uh, you, this comes as like an aerosol spray. However, for the, our purposes, what we want to do is we want to only apply it to a small area. So a spray is a little bit of overkill. So what I'm going to do is to spray a small amount into the bottom of this cap and then use a paintbrush just to apply it on. So make sure you do this in a well ventilated area. It's just, just have quite strong fumes. So as you can just about see in the bottom of the cap there, I've sprayed a small amount, uh, just enough for what we need here. I'm just gonna get a small brush and then I'm going to paint this essentially onto one of the joins. So I'll paint this onto the, the, the gun arm here and just apply that to where the glue will be placed. And then I'll be bringing in the normal glue again, applying this to the other hand, like so. And then I'll bring the two pieces together, one with the spray activator and the other with the actual super glue and I'll be placing them together. And this should allow the glue to dry much quickly and you can see there it's already bonded straight away. It makes uh, gluing many miniatures very uh, a lot quicker, a lot more simple. However, like I said before, make sure you do so in a well ventilated area. Uh, so now that we've actually got the arms and the, the attached to the main body, we're now going to be gluing them to the resin base. So let's uh, zoom out a little bit more so we can get a better feel for what we're doing. So in much the same way as I've done before, I'll be using the thick super glue on the feet there and then also uh, using the super glue spray activator on this base. Now because it's a little bit larger and I've got a larger area to work with, I'm going to actually be spraying uh, the super glue activator directly onto the base. So if I just put some thick super glue onto the feet here, you can see straight away that it's a lot thicker. It, it's more like a gel than an actual liquid, which is what the normal one was like. And I'll just put this to one side just so it's out of the way from when I actually come to spray. Make sure you're in a well ventilated area. I'm going to spray onto the surface, bringing the miniature pretty quickly before it evaporates. And if I just find a good position to place the miniature, I just hold it down for a few seconds, allow the, the glue to harden properly. Now the great thing about using the super glue spray activator on this kind of miniature is that because it's not a, an even surface, you don't want to be 
sits in there for ages just holding the position in place because chances are you'll be rocking getting you actually be breaking the bond as it forms so this has actually been a really good way of getting this goblin to sit on this rocky outcrop and as you can see there it's very sturdy very stable and ready to be painted now so let's uh, zoom out and get an overall summary of these tools so that was my quick guide to assembling cromlet miniatures using the cromlet range of hobby materials. So we've looked at the, the cutting mat here, which is a great way to protect your surfaces. It provides a nice even surface in which you can work on. It's obviously got the grid uh, layout and also the angles as well for when you're actually doing some cutting. We've also looked at the two types of glue, which is fantastic. There is actually two types rather than just the one. If you were to get from a store, you'd be stuck with the only one you could find. Um, but the fact that you've got different glues for different situations makes uh, the whole kind of gluing an assembly of resin miniatures much more easily. But probably the best product I've looked at so far uh, is actually going to be the uh, the super glue activator. And this is fantastic because it means you can save so much time when you're actually gluing your miniatures uh, rather than having to sit there for ages holding them uh, steady whilst the glue bonds. So we, of course we've got the uh, the goblin in the middle here on this rocky outcrop and both of these are from Cromlec and it's fantastic quality as we've come to expect and as you've seen in my previous Cromlec reviews. So I'll pop a link in the description to the web store where you can pick up these uh, yourself and until next time thanks for watching and goodbye.